How to Mount Apps on Linux or Windows? Is there any way to mount apps partition read only or read slash write on Linux or Windows? Actually there is a free tool for Linux. This URL for Linux, free. This URL for Windows, not free. These are my everyday use tools on my Hackintosh. Install Libsafs Utils, tested in Ubuntu 20.04. Mount apps partition 3 of slash dev slash std and a directory slash mnt. Safs mount f1 slash dev slash std 3 slash mnt. Where, f file underscore system underscore index, mounts a specific file system. Unmount apps partition mounted in the directory slash mnt. User mount u slash mnt. There is a dedicated Linux OPS driver, which even has experimental write support, this URL. If you are on Arch Linux or a derivative, you can install it from the hour. How to mount Apple Apps file systems. 1. FOSS tools for Linux. I was able to get two really good tools to work. Linux Apps RW is by far the best I got working, but its current limitation is that encryption is not yet implemented, even in read-only mode. For my 2015 MacBook Air, that wasn't a big deal, but most if not all modern MacBooks come encrypted now I think, which would pose a problem. To install it on Linux Ubuntu, including on an Ubuntu 22.04 Live USB, run the following script. It takes a couple minutes to run on a newly booted Ubuntu 22.04 Live USB, but surely beats retyping this every time you need it. Install underscore Linux apps rw.sh. Mark it executable, and run it. What's really nice about this tool is that it works with the normal mount command, so clicking on the app's disk in your GUI file manager automatically mounts and opens it. I've asked Parted Magic to install Linux apps RW and apps fuse into Parted Magic as part of the default image, in this private forum post here, this URL. We'll see if they do this. Hopefully they do. Apps Fuse. This tool installed easily, and allowed me to read the files, but do would show all files on the mounted apps drive as zero bytes. I don't know why. I opened an issue here, this URL. Here are my installation and usage instructions, again, on a fresh Ubuntu 20.04 or 22.04 Live USB. How to build apps fuse on a fresh Ubuntu 20.04 Live USB.
and to view the mounted files as root via the default Ubuntu Nautilus file manager. The cool thing about this tool is that once I built it, even if building it on my main Linux machine, using it on an Ubuntu Live USB, or even on a parted Magic Boot disk, was as simple as copying over the executable. It would just run. That's it for the free and open source tools I was able to get to work, and I tried really flippin' hard on this, probably spending one full week and 70 or so hours on it. 2. Paid tools for Windows or Linux. In the future, if I need a tool to work, and I don't want to waste my time, and if one of the above two tools doesn't work immediately, X, on an encrypted apps file system, I think I'll just fork out the $40 and be done. For Linux, $40 for personal use, apps for Linux by Paragon Software and GT, click buy now. It's probably worth it. For Windows, the trial is free, otherwise it's $50 for personal use, apps for WinOWS by Paragon Software and GT, click download for the trial version, or buy now to buy. They have business licenses too. I'll let you find the links from there. The Apps Ecosystem of Tools The maker of Linux apps RW was kind enough to help me understand the various tools available, here. I think it would be nice to have an alternative section in the README. I guess I can do that eventually. For now I'll tell you here quickly. This URL. This is a Fuse driver, not a kernel driver. So it's probably more portable, but it's also much slower. Unlike mine it also supports encryption, but it's read-only and has no plans for write support. Writes take much more work to implement than reads, so that's a big selling point for both my driver and the Paragon one. This URL. I've never used this one, though I did get some layout information from the author's work. The first obvious difference is that it's a library. So again, more portable than mine, and it can be built into other tools if that's what you want. I think it includes a way to mount via Fuse, so it's similar to the previous one in that regard. Assuming that README is up to date, it seems to be missing support for snapshots and several compression algorithms, which are all supported in my driver, and also in apps Fuse, I believe. I don't know where it stands in some stuff it doesn't mention, like sealed volumes. I'm guessing those are not implemented. It does support encryption though. Like Apps Fuse, this one is also read-only, and there are no plans for write support as far as I can see. This URL. The main disadvantage of this one is that it's paid and closed source. I've never used it, I'm assuming it's expensive? So I can't talk about its quality. Sorry. It's probably much more complete than mine, and they don't use the experimental disclaimer like I do, so they must be very confident that the writes work correctly. Nobody likes to lose data though, and we don't know much about its development process, so if you are interested in this option you should talk to other customers and see if it's reliable. See also. If trying to back up stuff from a MacBook, using a Linux Live USB booted on the Mac, I recommend the XFAT file system, but it's a bit tricky. Here are some answers I wrote for this project that you'll need. Which file system to use for Windows, Mac, and Linux? How to format an XFAT file system on Linux with the desired cluster size to tune your selection along the trade-off curve between speed and disk usage. Best sync settings for copying and mirroring to or from FAT and XFAT file systems. Article on my website, XFAT file system speed and disk usage based on cluster size. Article on my website, how to repair your MacBook when it won't boot. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.